This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. because we just had a good friend come in, Darcy Kasky, right? Hello. Nice to meet you. Darcy's an yeah. uh, instructor over at Fengjiang University, the International Trade Department. So we're all coming over here to have some fun. And you've told me before you've been to Costco up in Taipei. Yeah, it was never this busy though, of course. Never, but you told me it was busy. <laughs> so it's never this busy? Oh, uh, Actually, it's very busy on weekends. Something like this, just packed in, going in? Yeah. Like, usually you see lots of families and surprisingly a lot of uh, older people as well. Well that's what I'm seeing in the line, you know, because I saw a lot of foreigners of course have shown up. But I just think Taichung doesn't have that massive number of foreigners as Taipei does, right? It's not that international city. But I've seen a lot of older people. I've seen right here, we're looking at some people in their 50s, 60s and older. There's a lot of family oriented people. And they're dressed up kind of to come out for the event. Well, <laughs> I think that's typical Taiwanese actually when they go out, even when they go to the department store, they got to look nice. I mean, yeah. you wouldn't want to be embarrassed. You know, it's kind of like back home when your mother used to say, don't go out without your underwear on, right? <laughs> Taiwan, you got to wear something good, right? So uh, you just got over here and so you're impressed, shocked, surprised or what? I'm shocked the street blocks that way. There's a huge lineup on the road. There's policemen directing the traffic. Yeah, in fact, in. when I came in this morning at 8, the road on Wednesday and Lou, that's just like two blocks up, was already blocked up. And I said, what's everybody here for? Yeah, it's a, it's a Friday morning. I'm surprised everyone has time to uh, skip work to come here. Well, it is a Friday morning, but as I was saying the other day, Taiwan has a really busy lifestyle, but for people who work a lot of hours every week, I see them out shopping a lot. Yeah. So there you go, we've got a lot of shopping style going on here. Back last night I was checking out some of the blogs and a lot of Chinese local bloggers blogging about, oh, yeah, yeah. about it. You, you checked out some? Yeah, I was looking at it. people have been waiting for this for years, I think. Years, yeah. When, I was, in the Kaohsiung, when I was in the Kaohsiung store, the, the workers there would tell me that there's a store opening up in Taichung soon. Well, that was years ago. <laughs> years ago, right? This, this just shows that there's not... I don't know if there's much for people to do in Taichung if they have to come out to an event like this. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, it's not, not the most exciting city, I guess, as far as those kinds of things go. But anyway, this is very interesting. It's turned out this way. I was reading the blogs, and it seems to me like a lot of people who talk about Costco have been people who have been overseas. And then they come back and they say, hey, I really want to go there again. I want to be there. And then a lot of other people, they just like to get a lot of foreign stuff, it seems like. Because basically, what is Costco in Taiwan? You know, I've never been to Costco in Taiwan. This would be my first time. I think we, you'll be surprised when you go in there. When I've been to the other stores in Taiwan, uh, you like maybe a lot of these older people have huge crates of like uh, salmon and just very Western things that you would like so cereals in the store, and we can milk. expect that a lot of the stuff's going to be very much like the American selection or the Canadian selection. Yeah, a lot of stores in Canada. It's a little bit localized. A little bit. Localized. Got some localized stuff, but. If you see people coming out, it looks like they're experimenting maybe with foods that they haven't tried with before. That's a good point. You know, that's an interesting one. We're going to talk to uh, Dr. Stanworth later because this was uh, Tasco's problem. Tasco had a lot of imported stuff. People don't know what to do with it. Carrefour is taking the opposite direction. Oh, super They've localized. become super yeah. localized. And they know that people are interested in the foreign stuff, but how do they handle that? They just take anything they have, like Oreos, put it in a foreign section, and that's your foreign section, you know? So this store is going to really be the foreign thing. So uh, you're looking forward to it? You got your card with you? Yeah, <laughs> I got my card. You got your Canadian card or what? Uh, I got it in Kaohsiung. You got it in Kaohsiung. So back home, you card. just use your family's card? That's what I always do. I just buy I, I use this, this card works. My Kaohsiung card works there. Oh, so you can take your Kaohsiung card back to Canada. But it's always, a tr it's always a hassle because they don't know how to enter it in the, the register at the till. The Chinese characters will screw yeah. you up, that's for sure. That will confuse you back in Canada and in America too. One thing that's interesting though, that this is just Friday morning, I'm sure this weekend, and maybe for a couple weeks it's going to be like this. Well, that's pretty typical actually. When you get new stores, that are kind of uh, got a high profile. The first day, a lot of excitement. They generate a lot of the Zernal kind of feeling. You get a lot of lines. And then every weekend for a while, but then a lot of stores just whoop, yeah, drop off, that, right? Know. You know, there's a Mr. Donut over at Fungja now. Yeah. Have you been there? I, I've seen the lineups and now there are none. There's none, right? Yeah. I've, been, I've been observing it. It's near my house. I go out there. I've got consumer cam out there a lot. We're watching it. 
At the beginning there were lines, but then, you know, these days the lines have died down and there's hardly any. But if you still go up to Tenmu, right, there's still lines up there in Taipei. So that's what I'm always saying, you know, in Taiwan it takes a line to get a line, right? You need a line. And we got a line today, right? You were talking about a lot of people waiting to come here, Dark. I think there's probably one other store a lot of people are talking about coming to Taichung. I and can that's get that like one. Yeah. Right, okay. That opened up in Kaohsiung last year, and it was the same as this. Huge lineups to run a block. It was right near the Kaohsiung Costco, and I was near there. And we, we drove around trying to park, find, find a parking space, but it's, it's, we couldn't find one, so we just left. That's a tough one, yeah. So they're, are they doing well there, you think? But it's like you said, it was, it was lineups there for a few weeks, maybe even a month. But now you can go in, there's no lines, no problems. Although I think a lot of people do go shopping there. I've seen, I mean on the public, well not the public buses, but the private buses between cities in Taiwan, I've seen like young students and stuff with IKEA stuff or oh, really? IKEA stuff on the bus, really? taking it back up to Taichung or, or to Tainan or something. Interesting, somewhere. interesting. Because you know, the, that kind of furniture stuff, you can get it so many places in Taiwan. Personally, I would think that would be a hard sell, you know. But uh, yeah, it's very fashionable, very, in and I also saw a lot of local blogs mention Ikea and say, hey, when are they coming to Taichung? I think their image works really well here. I think it's very popular amongst the younger Very generation. interesting idea. You know, I think they had plans to come here and I heard on one of the blogs I read they're canceled. I don't know what the deal on that is. Taichung is, you know, it's, it's a strange place. It has super retailing. You know, we have more department floor space here than all of Southeast Asia outside of Japan. Yeah, and I hear Taichung has the highest uh, consumer spending ratio in all of Taiwan. That must be you. You've been buying a lot of stuff lately. I know that. Okay. All right, we'll wrap it up here. Thanks, Darcy. All right.